How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome yourselves back to In The Rut Review on the channel. Hope you guys are all here. It is Saturday. It's a nice day outside. The sun is shining out that window as well. And um, England lost against Hungary. Yeah, less said about that, the better. Tonight, we got a brand new SBC, Lorenzo Pellegrini. Yes, Roma player are on this game. What's it called? Roma FC. They've been very, uh, what do you call it? Creative with that name. But anyways, we're going to review the brand new SBC tonight. So if you guys do enjoy, please leave a like on the video. Drop your comments as well. Your thoughts on this man? Your thoughts on if you've got him, if you've used him, etc, etc. Or if you will get him. And who to review next. Now he has six foot one, high, medium work rates. So and he's got the four star combo. Skills and weak foot with the preferred foot being the right. Lads, his stats are incredible. Look at these. The madness. The madness all across the board. And for his price, I was thinking, I need to try this card. I need to review this card because surely he can't be this good. Like this rating, those stats for less than 100k. And I'm talking 100k maximum right now on the PlayStation and 95k max on the Xbox. If you've got fodder, that could come well under like 50k or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 92 acceleration and 95 sprint speed again. With a lot of these team of the seasons right now, I tend to use basic on quite a lot of them simply because uh, it, it gives a good boost across the board with many of them. And with these kind of box to box midfielders, it boosts a lot of stats that will help the card. Obviously, if you want them to be defensive, you'll stick like an anchor or shadow on Pellegrini. If you want them to be ultra attacking, Hunter could be sensational. Hawk could be another one. Or if you want them to be, uh, I, I, honestly, I think engines are waste to be honest. But uh, yeah, Hunter or Hawk. Um, Marksman would be a waste as well. There's, there's quite a few that could be a waste with this card, but it depends where you want to play them on the pitch. Tonight, I played him in a, a three-man midfield as the centre midfielder, and I also played him at Cam. The position that he does come out as, and the position that I did play him in. I played him in a, as a Cam in a 4-2-3-1. I just tried something a little bit different uh, in the last two games. Uh, Stat-wise, there's nothing you can really like look at and critique with this. Uh, he's got amazing pace, like I did say. His shooting looks very well-rounded for a midfielder. His passing is truly phenomenal. 97 vision with 98 short pass and good curve as well. You can imagine, it's going to be very creative. It's going to thread some like through balls here and there. And uh, dribbling, sheesh, look at that. Uh, 95 agility going on 99. 99 balance with 92 uh, uh, reaction. 94 ball control with 92 dribbling and 94 composure. Thumbs up, simple as that. Uh, Defender-wise, it, it looks capable, uh, 99 stamina as well. And as you can see by the player, Trent, uh, he's got leadership, outside of foot shot, and team player. Now, the outside of foot shot will only trigger on his right foot. So if you want to kind of trigger that animation, cut in from the right side. But that's with that being said, let's go on the gameplay, see how we did. So here we go, lads, into the gameplay time. Uh, the first game, uh, there was one game where he definitely begged to... Uh, I know, like, deceive. Uh, it looked like he was going to be good, and he, he just didn't really do too much here in the game. That one there, got into a great area. His turn was okay. It was very in control. Uh, the cross, not so much. Now, he's going to get into the central areas more often than not. I think that's when he was calm, but he did drift out wide. Look at that. Good control. Bad pass. We actually do win the ball again in this move. It's just, like, sometimes it can look like he's about to do a madness, an absolute sheer madness. And then it just doesn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Finishing-wise, he's capable. Very capable. I think in certain areas, more capable than others. Like many cards in this game, you get them uh, more to the center of the goal, the more chance you've got scoring, especially in the box. And I think with uh, Pellegrini, he could easily be a great outside of like box marksman with the finesses and stuff like that. But he's better in the box. Simple as. Yes, he'll score the odds, maybe two out of ten shots. But the main majority, which is pretty much the exact same meaning, uh, of his goals are going to come inside the box. This is a prime example. Great close control. And then he just lashes it in the top bins. Uh, you will notice there that was... What was that? I did something then. I dragged back, pushed forward. And dude, the finish was incredible. Look at that. Bam, baby. Uh, very nice finish as well. Now, you can see amongst the, the pros and the cons. By the way, if it sounds like I'm not talking properly, it's because just before this, I... I I touch the back two teeth, and every time I touch them, now it's pain. I don't know what's happening, mate. Every time I go, it, it just hurts. So um, I'm talking weirdly because I'm trying not to touch my teeth when I talk. But then before that, I don't know if I touch my teeth when I talk anyways. 
I don't know, it, it, it's just a messy situation. There, again, finishing wise, I should have scored that. I should have scored that. I, I, I don't care that I won a penalty. The original shot should have went in. He should have done better in that scenario. Maybe I went the wrong side of the goalkeeper. I should have went the way the penalty went. But uh, he should be scoring it regardless. I mean, you could stick 10 keepers in nets. I want you to score from the six yard spot. Simple as. Um, but he didn't. So I don't have any uh, finishing um, stuff across the pros. Uh, from finishing itself to shot power, long shots, etc. Got none of them is his pros because I did find him. Quite inconsistent when it did come to scoring, uh, even here. I mean, that should be a goal as well. I found him really inconsistent for the goal tonight. But again, it could be user error, could be my fault. And that is why I'm so keen to gather your experiences on Pellegrini or any player when I review them. Can't believe I never took that shot there with uh, Perisic once it came back around. You know, once uh, he was facing the goal and then suddenly he wasn't. I should have took the shot. This is Pellegrini on the ball yet again. Lovely through ball to Lataro Martinez, who, by the way, reviewed on the channel earlier today. If you did miss that, the link should be at the end of this video. So the pros, I've got control. You might be saying, hey, what's control? Is he got, like, mind powers of reading and stranger things kind of things going on? Uh, no, his ball control is only sensational. And if you bring it down to a slow dribble, this guy could easily beat... Or control anyone. I mean, control anyone. Basically, he's got very good ball control and it benefits him in areas um, where, the, like, you see there where I scored the goal from. If I was to, like, slow my dribble down and then turn and then turn and turn, very hard to kind of stop him getting the shot off because his ball control is that good. His movement's very good as well. Now, he's got high medium work rates, which is fantastic uh, for a lot of, like, cams or box-to-box -box midfielders that you want to get further forward. Another great goal right there. Pellegrini's got that. He's more of an advanced box-to-box. -box. I think the ones with the high highs are the kind of conservative box-to-boxes. You look at the review yesterday, Kessie, Fafara, those kind of ones. But uh, Pellegrini is an attacking box-to-box. -box. The only thing I didn't like was his lack of presence. And I'm not talking about him being Santa Claus or anything like that. He just lacks a midfield presence. I don't know what it is. He's six foot one. He's got all the stats. But some games I could go through and it's like, oh, Pellegrini did that. I didn't even notice. Sometimes that can be a very, very, a very good thing. A very good thing, boys. Summary time. I generally hate how I was like, I, I was just like before this video, just talking normally. And then those back two teeth touch each other, the top and the bottom. And now I'm questioning my whole, how did I talk beforehand? Because every time they touched, it was pain. But now it's like, it is pain, but it's not that much pain. And now I don't know how to talk properly. Honestly, am, am I the only one that goes through these kind of scenarios where it's like, how did I talk before this? Because I feel very stupid. And if you guys agree, then it'll confirm that I am very stupid. I know I'm a bit like idiotic, but that's just idiotic. If oh. Shut up, Marshall. Anyways, boys, I can have arguments with myself all day as well. That's not strange. That is, it's helpful for the relationship with your inner self. Learn to love yourself. Dude, imagine if that came off as a speech. Anyways, played three games, scored four goals and assisted at low once. Uh, five goal contributions over the course of three games. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Like I did say, first game, I used him in a three-man midfield as the outside midfielder. And uh, he was basically a box-to-box. -box. He didn't work too well. He, he really did nothing that match, to be honest. And that's why I'm saying the presence, it's such a big thing in midfield. I never noticed him once that entire game. Not a single time. We got a 7.3 match rate. Now, it kind of goes to show he kind of coasted his way through that game. 8.6 and then 9.1 is where his goals and assists came from. And that was from playing Cam in a 4-2-3-1. I was going to say that the other way around. He's getting a 9 for passing. I thought his creativity was very good. Could have got loads more assists if I wasn't taking shots from strange angles and different angles. But like I do say in these reviews, I like the stress test. Play shooting. And plays abilities and that is basically what i was doing so i know he can assist and his creativity is very good his passing is fantastic so nine for that eight for shooting and dribbling uh, with a seven for physicality i think overall for being six foot one he has a stamina 99 he, the rest of his stats do kind of leave a lot to be desired similar cards now this was a tricky one right because he, he technically is a cam he comes out as a cam and i was thinking like as a box to box who does he feel like and as a cam who does he feel like? So, Bellingham's in there as, like, a, a box-to-box, -box, what he feels like. Because I feel Bellingham's quite similar to Pellegrini when it comes to that box-to-box -box role as an outside centre mid. And um, I think he's more similar to more like a Lorente. Now, Pellegrini's height is 6'1". I believe 
it could be the same for Lorente, if you if you guys can correct me on that. It's either six foot or six foot one for Lorente, but Lorente does feel like he offers a similar role as the outside centre midfielder in box to box, and I think it can. You play a lot like a Deli Ali uh, flashback, ninety four rated. Um, yeah, kind of gives me Deli Ali vibes in that position. So the overall rating for myself for Mister Lorenzo, great name by the way, dude. I wish I was Italian. I don't know why. I just like to be called Lorenzo Marshall. I would get all the ladies, even if I look like this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, he's getting a 9.0 from myself, Mr. Lorenzo. Um, he's a very good player. I just think, like, for now, his stats, they do deceive quite a bit. Now, his stats promise the world, and then some. It's like, this guy is FIFA, I don't know, 22? Well, I do know, it's literally FIFA 22. This guy is FIFA 22's answer to endgame. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think even in that division, you've got a lot of good capable cams that are probably more effective in that role than Pellegrini. Look at Nani, for example. And then you've got box-to-box -box midfielders that, again, arguably offer pretty much the exact same as a Pellegrini. And I just want to like, just take this back just a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, guys, you won't be able to see this. But um, I'm just going to go to Serie A, have a look at midfielders. Like, if you guys can imagine, right, midfielders in a box-to-box -box and then a cam roll as well, that would play similar to Pellegrini, or offer you more for less. Malinkovic Savic, team of the season, 95. It's under 100k. And again, he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. Now, he does have medium to medium work rates. But I look at that card and think he's going to offer you pretty much exactly what Pellegrini does. You look at Brozovic, who, by the way, is massively underrated on this game. And he's got medium medium, 94. He's 110. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm kind of trying to say? These kind of players offer you pretty much the same. So if you've got those untradeable from Team of the Season, maybe upgrades that you had saved or anything like that, you, you might be questioning, is, is there any point of doing this SBC? And uh, those are the box-to-boxes -box that I'm comparing them with. Um, who else can I compare them with? Obviously, a cam. Dude, Maxime Lopez. He's got medium-mediums as well. I'm, I'm looking for some, like, high-mediums. Where's SMS got high-medium? Oh, yes, none of his savage does have high medium. I'm going blind, I think, lads. But, uh, wait, Brozovic has... Oh, maybe they're wrong on these things. I can't even see that. Does that say mead mead? Med med, for medium medium. I've got no idea. But uh, if I was to choose a cam, and I had to choose between Nani, and that is... Uh, he's 91, and Pellegrini, I'd probably choose Nani. I, I want that kind of flair for that position. Yeah, it's good having these big players, but uh, a bit of flair does not go and miss, you know what I'm saying? But this card's a very good value SPC. So for the value for coins, I'm giving them a 9.4. I reckon 95 to 100k. Fantastic, sensational. Uh, get some fodder in, get them cheaper. Happy days. And uh, the overall rating for... Ah, dude, I've already said the overall. The overall rating for the enjoyment will be an 8.6. Um, it does offer a great service to your team. I, I didn't get too much enjoy. Basically, when it comes to enjoyment, you want to be thrilled by a player. With this card, it was like, okay, you can do that. I can do that with this lad. I can do that with this person. I can do this with this player. I can do this with this. You know what I'm saying? It didn't give me anything extra. And sometimes in enjoyment, you're looking for that little bit extra. Pellegrini doesn't offer that, unfortunately. But he still is a very good SBC, a very good card. And for that reason, thumbs up. Guys, thank you very much. I don't know what that reason is. What's all this about? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Apologies for talking weirdly. I forgot how to talk previously to uh, <laughs> this video, as I've spoken about many, many times. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your Saturday night. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see a review next, comment section below. Like, now. Guys, I'll see you next time.